we are now at the initial time. Now we can press this one, run, so that the reservoir simulation will, yeah, as you can see, we will move through time, we will move across time. So the software will run the simulation, the forecasting. We can see the pressure is changed throughout the time. The highest pressure will be colored red, and after that, yellow, green, and, and the blue zone will indicate lower reservoir pressure. You can see it's very interesting. You can also check the saturation of oil. All right, so the saturation of oil is still relatively high. Okay, but at certain wells, the saturation decrease. Saturation of oil, saturation of water, saturation of gas. All right, go back to saturation of oil. You can see the drainage, right? We still have a lot of areas with high oil saturation. Go back to pressure. Right, this area still have high reservoir pressure, but in this area, the reservoir pressure is relatively low. Okay. All right, we will wait until the calculation is finished. We can also check the three dimensional. Zoom in. Right. We can also make the grid transparent. Okay, using your right button, you can move the model. All right. So the simulation or the calculation has been finished. You can see this one 100%. So now we can also do streamlining by clicking this one, streamlines. All right, first also we need to uncheck the show grid. All right, you can see the streamline so that you can analyze the well connectivity. You can check the 3D or 2D again. Grid settings, uncheck this one, color by grid. Streamlines, all right. Zoom in. Okay, and then you can open this one. This is the section for streamline. We can check this one, use unique well colors. And then trace from producer or from injectors. Let's say we select trace from producers. Click apply. Okay. Yeah. So the color will be unique. Very interesting, right? The interwell connectivity analysis is very important for water flood analysis also for 3D, right? The red wells are producers. So you can see the arrow will point to upward, whereas the blue wells are of course the injectors. The arrow will point downward, meaning injecting water or injecting fluid. 
All right, and this is one type of analysis that we can do for water flood analysis. But in the navigator, the main thing for water flood analysis can be done here in water flood section. But we will discuss this feature or this section in the next video. Go back to grid properties. It's very interesting, right? Go back to two dimensional. All right, that's all for now. Thank you so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed the video. I hope the video is useful. Please don't forget to press subscribe, like, and share to your friends. And thank you again for watching. See you again in the next T Navigator videos. Thank you.